Okay, in this video, we are going to have a look at wireless programming on the SCAMP3 board. Now, normally we connect the SCAMP3 board to our computer into the USB port using this cable here, and we gain access to the fourth operating system, FlashForth, on the PIC microcontroller. But instead of having this connection between the microcontroller and the USB port, we can redirect it to the serial port. So we'll have a connection from the microcontroller to the serial port. And then we can connect the serial port to an HC06 Bluetooth module, and we can gain access now into the microcontroller using our smartphone or another laptop or a computer in your house wirelessly. So in this video, we're going to look at some code that we, we could run on the SCAMP3 board where we could run it wirelessly using Bluetooth. Okay, I have an app running on my smartphone called BlueTerm, which is a serial terminal program. So I can gain access to my SCAMP3 board wirelessly through Bluetooth. And you can see if I hit enter, I get an OK prompt. So I'm communicating with my SCAMP3 board. If I give it some commands, if I go FFFF, LEDs, I can turn on all the LEDs on the SCAMP3 board. See, they're all on. I can go zero LEDs to turn them all off. They're all off. I can go LED on. Turns on the LED on the very left. I go LED off. Turn it off. I can do words. We can look at all the words in the dictionary. There's all my words. So now I can do development wirelessly using my smartphone or a computer in your house. Could be a laptop or, or a desktop. So now we can go wireless on our SCAM3 board using Bluetooth. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard. And you can see the two components, HC06 Bluetooth module and my SCAM3 board. Now the HC06 Bluetooth module is powered by the SCAMP3 board through the VIN and ground. So VIN would be 5 volts out feeding the VCC. And then we got our common ground. Then we have the TX of the Bluetooth module going into the RX1 of the SCAMP3. And the TX1 of the SCAMP3 going into the RX of the HC06 Bluetooth module. So that's all you need. You just pair your uh, app to the HC06 Bluetooth module. Then you can get access into the SCAMP3 board using the serial port. Okay, here's the code running on the SCAMP3 board for redirection. And it's written in FlashForth, and it's pretty simple. We only need two words. The first word is wireless, and the second word is wired. Now, when we're connected to the SCAMP3 board and we're controlling it through the USB port, and we type wireless, so we run this word, now it's going to vector all control over to the UART1, and now we'll have control using our app using Bluetooth. Now, when we're running our app, and we want to send the control back to the USB, we type the word wired from our app using Bluetooth. Now that will send the control back to the to the USB port and then we're, we're back to our, our main computer uh, controlling it over the USB port. So those are the two words wireless and wired. So in wireless, when we run wireless, it's going to set UART1 baud rate to 9600 to match the baud rate of the Bluetooth module. Then we're going to vector emit and key and key question mark and we're going to vector that to TX1, RX1, and RX1 question mark. So that we're going to vector it to the UART. So now everything is going to be uh, uh, redirected to the UART. So we'll have control now over the app. And then when we're running our app, we run wired. And that's going to vector emit, key, and key question mark. It's going to vector it back to TXU, RXU, and RXU question mark. It's going to vector it back to the USB port. So now we'll have control back to our USB port. Now if we're running it, on your USB port and you type wireless and you don't have your app up and running it's going to be locked over to the to the wireless side so to get out of that you could press the reset button on the SCAMP3 board then it will revert it back to uh, to the wired to the control over the USB port okay so that was my little tutorial on how to do wireless programming on the SCAMP3 board now when you're building your project you can use an external power supply and feed that into V in and ground then you don't need the USB connection anymore. You can disconnect this cable. But you can still get access to the fourth operating system wirelessly through the HC06 Bluetooth module. Now I've seen this used by students in the robotic applications where they have a robotic competition and they still can monitor the robot wirelessly through Bluetooth. So you can come up with your own ideas on wireless programming on the SCAMP3 board.